At hospital emergency rooms, the sick children just keep coming, from toddlers to teens, mostly with respiratory infections, including pneumonia. It's been 10 days now, this mother says, and the fever is back. Health officials say the surge is happening not just here in Beijing, but in clusters across northern China. This is one of the biggest children's hospitals in this city, and it's full of kids who are coughing, hooked up to IV bags, are still waiting to get treatment. The headlines here about a respiratory disease outbreak triggered alarm bells and prompted the World Health Organization to ask Chinese authorities for answers. The WHO said China shared its data that showed no sign of a new disease so far, saying in a statement the reported symptoms are common to several respiratory diseases. Unlike a then unknown virus that emerged in Wuhan four years ago that unleashed the COVID pandemic, back then China was criticized for a lack of transparency. What's going around now, according to health officials, is a known mix of flu, RSV, COVID, and mycoplasma or walking pneumonia. The advice from scientists, don't panic. Last year, there were still strict COVID rules here, kids masking up and schools locking down. The wave flooding emergency rooms now seen as more of a comeback than a mystery. With doctors here working overtime, health officials are urging anyone with mild symptoms to avoid the hospital because of the risk of cross-infection. But for the rest of the world at this point, scientists say there's no evidence of anything new or unique here, that it's the same sort of surge you're seeing in the U.S. and can happen anywhere. Savannah. All right, Janice Mackey Freyer, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.